Hello and welcome to 1007 Warwick Place, Patterson Park, Ohio. This is in Dayton, Ohio. Very desirable neighborhood. I actually lived for a period of time about a baseball throw from this house. So I personally can attest this is a fantastic neighborhood. We're just a short stroll down the street from Carmel's, the Schroyer Inn, and a awesome bike path that goes for miles and miles. So on the house, location, fantastic. But on the house, awesome as well. Tons of updates to the outside and the inside. Backyard's been regraded, reseeded, installed. Updated windows, updated kitchen, fabulous home. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here I just walked through the front door and we have a solid wood door on the front. And you're gonna see this theme throughout the house. We have solid wood doors throughout the whole first floor here. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous doors. Coat closet is what we're looking at right now. That is the front door where we just came in and they were greeted by an entry here in a perfect spot to put a little bench or something to take your shoes off so you're not tracking in on the brand new carpet in here. And one thing to point out, as you can probably tell right here, there are hardwood floors underneath the carpet, uh, but this is brand new carpet. Uh, if you're more of a hardwood person, you have possibilities. All updated windows throughout the home. We do have a fireplace. I believe the owner told me that is not warranted just because with the age of these houses, typically the liners need to be replaced. But great living room here, all new wood trim throughout. And then the bike. Yeah, why is there a bike right in the middle of the living room? Because the bike path is just right down the street from here. So great place if you're a biker or like to exercise, take walks, it's a great bike path. Off of the living room, we have the formal dining room. This overlooks the backyard right here. New carpet flows through there. And here we can get a good look at the gorgeous wood doors. And this takes us to the upstairs. Kitchen's right around the corner here. Before we look at the kitchen, well, we're right here. We'll check out bedroom number one. This is on the back right of the home. One thing I like, there's ceiling, or not ceiling fans, but lights, overhead lights in the bedrooms here. So you could throw in a ceiling fan in here very easily. This is on the back right of the home. This overlooks the backyard. The reason this is yellow is because it just got regraded, took a bobcat in here, cleaned everything up, and replanted all new grass seed. Even have wood trim going around the doors. Fresh paint everywhere as well. And this bathroom was pretty much gutted and redone. We have new tiled floors here, new vanity. I believe that is a new commode. Laundry chute right there, which is very nice. New window. And check out the ceramic tile on here. A little built-in shampoo holder, soap holder. Very, very nice bathroom. And then bedroom number two. I might have these dimensions you know, labeled differently online. But this is the bedroom that's on the front right of the home. And as you can see, we do have an overhead light in here as well. And that is bigger than the other bedroom that we just looked at, if you're looking for dimensions. Kitchen, boom. Gutted and completely redone. This is new countertops, new appliances, Whirlpool dishwasher, new range, GE microwave, Frigidaire refrigerator, new tile floors in here, wood door. This takes us down to the basement, and there's also a side back door that we can go out there. All the appliances do stay. New window treatments, mini blinds on just about all of the windows in the house. New sink, new garbage disposal. Okay, everything's new in here. You get it. Kitchen sink oh, does overlook the backyard and the garage there. And as you can see, that is bigger than the typical one car garage. It's about a one and a half car garage. Fantastic first floor. Let's go check out the second floor and we're gonna go up right here. All right, so here I just walked up the stairs over there and as you can see, this is just one gigantic bedroom. I think this was like 31 by 12 or 31 by 14. Huge amount of space up here. Plenty of room to fit a bed, dressers. And what I've seen a lot of people do, including myself, is we added a bathroom to kind of make this a master suite and then put an office area over here. The one nice thing with these Cape Cod style homes is you have more storage than what you really think. Like that looks like a small closet door, right? Wrong. That closet goes all the way over to like right there. So a huge amount of space. And then you see this door right here. 
This is all attic space right here. So this is a huge crawl space, if you will, that runs down each side of the house. So what I've seen a lot of people do, they put these really cool built-in drawers into the wall. So you actually, your dresser is in the wall and then you have no dresser space in here, which would come in really handy if you put another bathroom up here. But we do have another full bathroom of sorts in the basement. And we're gonna go down and check that out right now. I'll meet you downstairs and up here, fresh paint, new trim, all new carpet. And there is hardwood floors underneath this carpet and uh, great space up here. I'll meet you in the basement. All right, so here I just came down to the basement and this basement is semi-finished, more unfinished than finished, but it is semi-finished. Walls have been painted, all the concrete has been painted. We do have drywall up over here, a new six panel door and all of this drywall was just put up. Walking here, we have our utility room and our mechanical room, our hot water heater is over here, our color hammer panel box. And we have train, furnace, and air conditioner. That is a high efficiency, looks like a 95% efficient train furnace. Not gonna get a whole lot better than that. This doubles as our utility room and bathroom number two. Our dryer goes here. We do have the mud sink right here. And believe it or not, this is a shower. And the drain is straight down right there. And then our toilet. So a ton of space in here, and this is a working toilet. Tons of space all kinds of possibilities that you can do in here. And then the family room and rec room, all kinds of possibilities down here as well. Have a drain line straight ahead right there that we're walking to. This would be a perfect spot for an office or maybe put a wet bar somewhere in this area. You could throw a pool table in here, game room, flat screen TV in the corner right there. All kinds of possibilities. Fantastic lo uh, location. Great basement, great first floor, great second floor. Next, I'm gonna meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355 or by email that is john, J-O-N, at buywithjohn.com. That's B-U-Y-W-I-T-H-J-O-N.com. Thanks for watching a home of this caliber with this many updates in this prime location. Does not come along that often. So give me a call. This one is not going to last long. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.